Now, in the last one week, there have been many incidents of civilians being targeted by terrorists in the valley, particularly those who belong to the minority community. And while there were condemnations that poured in from across the country from political leaders in Jammu and Kashmir, senior Congress leader Saifuddin So's comments has triggered criticism and a controversy. He referred to these terrorists as boys with guns and said that the administration must reach out to them, must speak to them. A lot of political leaders, particularly the opposition, slammed source for his comments. Let's get you the details of that, the latest political reactions and also on the NIA's crackdown on terror. I saw my whole banana check ham just got me bundu who said pushing up so day. Less than a week from the brutal killings of non-Muslims. When terrorists looked through ID cards to single out a Sikh principal and a Kashmiri Pandit teacher only to gun them down in cold blood. These are the shocking words of Congress leader Saifuddin Soz. Terming the butchers as boys with guns who deserve to be heard. A shocking backing for those behind stalking and hunting down non-Muslims and orchestrating an open ethnic cleansing. The controversial remark by Saifuddin Soz comes on a day when the National Investigation Agency began a crackdown on the resistance front, the lashkar e taiba offshoot based in Pakistan, which has owned up to the killings of Kashmiri minorities. Seven raids were conducted against the terror outfit, resulting in the arrest of at least four TRF operatives. TRF commander Sajjad Gul's house was also raided by the NIA in Srinagar. Meanwhile, security forces also expanded operations against other anti-India terror elements, rounding up nearly 600 terror suspects, at least 70 of them in Srinagar alone. The violence against minorities in Kashmir has shocked the country, but will it deter the terror apologists? With Ashraf Wani in Srinagar, Bureau Report, India Today.